In this Excel video, I will show you how to use the Excel image function to pull in images from the internet and into your Excel spreadsheets. Let's get started. So here I have a spreadsheet with some inventory items, and I have in a previous video shown you how to add icons into a spreadsheet, but now I would like to add images. And of course I could go through the process of inserting an image or a picture from Clipart or from Microsoft Online, places like that. But instead, what if there's a very specific website that you would like to draw your images from, and you don't want to have to have them on your computer first, you just want to pull them in from the internet. You can do that by using the Excel image function. So I'm going to start by clicking here on cell C2. I'll type equals image, left parenthesis, and Excel is coaching me on how to complete this formula that I'm working on. So next, it wants the source of the online image. So here I have a web page and this is the image I want. So I'm gonna right click on that image, and I'm in Google Chrome, but it should be similar in other web browsers, but I'm gonna look for the link, not to this web page, but to the image. So copy image address. I'll click on that, and then back here in my formula, I'm gonna paste in that link. And it's tempting just to paste it right in, but it's not gonna work unless you put that image link inside of quotes. So I put quotation marks, and then I'll paste in that address. I'm getting a warning here that I'm pasting something from the internet, it's active content, it's a link. In this case, I trust the source of it, so I'm fine. I'll just click paste everything. I'll put in my close quote, and then if I want to, I can be done with this formula. I could just put in my right parenthesis, tap enter, and be done. And let me show you what that would look like. I'll just tap enter on the keyboard. Notice it said busy, but after a second or two, that image is pulled in from the internet and into my spreadsheet. Now for that to work, you have to be online. You have to have a connection to the internet in that moment in which it's pulling the image into your spreadsheet. Now let's try it again, but this time I'm gonna show you the other options that you have as you build your formula that uses the image function. So this time I'm gonna right click on this sticky note image and I'll choose copy image address. I'll move that to the side. And this time in cell C, Three, I'm gonna click, I'll type equals image, left parenthesis, quotation marks, and then I'll paste the link to the image. Again, I'm gonna choose paste everything. Sometimes if you choose this option, or if you have other security settings that interfere with the link, it will give you a blocked error message. So in this case, that shouldn't be a problem but I'll put in my close quote. And now let's look at the other options that we have. If I put in my comma here, Excel gives me the opportunity to enter alt text. In other words, alternative text. And this is great for accessibility uses so that people that maybe can't see the image could have it read to them using a reader. So I'm just gonna put quotation marks and type in some alternative text. I'll just type sticky notes close quote. Now I'll put in another comma, and now I can put in one of four different codes. If I put zero, the image will fit in the cell. If I choose number one, it will fill the cell completely. If I choose number two, the image will come in in the original size that it was when I pulled it in from the internet. So it might be too big in this case. And then you can also choose a custom size. In this case, I'm going to choose number one, fill cell, Okay, now I could put in a comma, and if I want to, I can specify a height and then a width, but you know what? I've already told it to fill the cell. So I'm gonna stop there. After my one, I'm just gonna put in my right parenthesis, tap enter on the keyboard. It says it's busy, but then it pulls in the image. Now I'm gonna click back on that cell, and I'm gonna go up here to the formula bar, and I'm gonna make a couple of changes so that you can see what would have happened if I had chosen, instead of option one, option zero. So I'll tap enter. And you can see the difference. I get the image, but it doesn't fill the cell. It just fits in the cell. One of the nice things about this option is it did not distort the sticky notes. With option number one, it did distort the image. It stretched it a little bit. Now, if I like this, but I wish it were centered, I can do that. I just select the cell. Here on the Home tab, in the Alignment group, I can click to center that image. Okay, I'm gonna click back on that cell, go up to the formula bar, and I'll just use the arrow keys to go over to the right, and I'll change this from zero. We've already looked at one. Now let's look at two. I'll tap enter, and I don't even see the sticky notes. Now why is that? Why don't I see the sticky note? The reason why is because it's maintaining the original image size, and so it's so big that it's not visible in that cell. If I stretch out this cell big enough, then it does start to appear. It's still not even big enough to show that full sticky note. 
So I'm gonna undo that by holding Control and tapping Z a few times. But you can see the consequence there of using option number two, maintain the original image size. Okay, let's try our last option. Our last option is option three, and this will enable me to put in a custom size. So I'll put in a comma, and the custom size is gonna be 100, comma, 100. Tap enter on the keyboard, and there's the result. Again, it's a bit too big, but I could change that to maybe 50 by 50, and that should fit better. So in this video, I've explained how to use the Excel image function in depth, I've shown you all the options, and I hope you'll try this out and enjoy using this fantastic Excel function. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support the channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. You'll get early access to videos, you'll get members-only content, and more. But you could also support me by clicking the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my fantastic, super techie and ultra techie channel supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. I really appreciate it.